look, hey, it's Janice. Why don't you go answer the phones for us again? Spice dickweed. I'd rather not, Janice. Hey, you can you give me a cup of coffee while you're at it? Yeah, here, catch. Hey, whoa, whoa, it's empty. Uh, it's because I drink it all. Well, since you're demoted, give me another cup. No. No, I freaking hate you. Alright, Janice, talk to you later. You should have been swallowed. That's what your mom said. <laughs> Killed someone. Right, tell me where you're at. That's, uh, don't hang up. Right, fuck it, you hung up. Alright. Yeah, Bell? Yeah, I just found a case for you. Time to get up, Mr. Glasses. Uh, come on, just five more minutes. Mm, come on. I guess I could get up for you. Wow, thank you. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, look at that. We only have about uh, 15 minutes till we were supposed to get up and get ready. Oh. Yeah, <clears throat> let's think. What could we do in 15 minutes? Four times. <laughs> um, make breakfast? Well, it involves the two of us. And, uh, a little less clothing. Huh. Why don't we just make breakfast? Oh, come on, Alyssa. I've been with you for a while now, and I've been patient. Well, you know, patience is a virtue. Oh, come on, don't Bible at me. I'm a man. I have needs. I have tried everything. I even wore my authentic Gryffindor robe. I showed you my expensive Yu-Gi-Oh card collection. Nothing works with you. Well, as appealing as that sounds, I'm sorry, babe, but you know how my faith is serious to me. Well, come on. Uh, you what? You can't have any sex with, a little, with an atheist? I mean, I won't get any science on you. I promise. No, I can have all the atheist sex I want. Alright, let's get crack a lacking. I will put my Star Wars theme music on, and I can print Princess Leia this time. Just <laughs> All the atheist sex I want? After I'm married. Oh. Uh. Dr. Carter? Hi, my name's Madeline Craven. Yeah, uh, no. Just call me Maddie. I hate my full name. Yeah. Well, I'm two months pregnant now, and I need an appointment. Yeah, I can take off of work. No. No. The father won't be coming. 
F this on. Morning. Good morning. Guess you're going back to work today? I guess I'm so tired of being in this game house. How's your arm? Don't touch me and I'm fine, thank you. Alright. Uh, I'll be getting back to work today too. You be careful, okay? Tom? What? I got a promotion. Really? That's good. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, Sergeant Carson is sent doing special cases, so they need someone on patrol. Alright, so I guess I guess you're gonna be behind the desk, huh? Possibly. Well that's good. I mean less work, more money, that's what's up. Right. Yeah. What do you have a problem with that or something? I mean we're getting paid more. It's just I like I like being on the field and stuff. And I like doing all the hard work and holding guns and shooting people if yeah, yeah, yeah. We need the money and I'm not paying for everything, okay? That's not what's up. You're right. <laughs> Alright, that's it. That's it. You're right. I guess I'm just being sentimental. All right. Well, I'll be seeing you then, Sergeant. You don't have to call me Sergeant in the house. Kind of like it. I think we'll be doing some of that later on the on the kitchen table or something. That's some Go shit. to work. All right. Later, Sergeant. Would you stop it and just go to the work? Don't forget them kink little fairy cups you got. I don't have any cur. Oh, okay. Go to work. Good morning, Maddie. <sighs> Wait, Wait. I don't think we should go in together. It'll look really suspicious. Hi, this is Tony. What? Carson. Just because we both came together, Tony won't suspect we're seeing each other. Yeah, but I don't want to take any chances. But why are you so afraid to tell me we're going out? I mean, I told Maddie. I'm moving on. What? I, my feelings for you were really hindering our work. Well, Maddie told you to move on, so you did. Let's just, you know, let it go. Move on. Tony and I. Yeah, okay. whatever happened with that? What about last night? I was busy. You're, ever since that kiss, you were busy every single night. I don't, I don't really know, Sorry. and I don't really want to get into it right now. Alright, let's just go in. Let's just yeah, go. okay. Uh, let me just transfer the accents, alright? Thanks. Hey Tony. What's up? Oh hey guys, what are you guys dating? What? Uh, what? No, I no, just... I'm just kidding, like that whatever happened. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute, what's that supposed to mean? No. Nothing. Harry, just drop it. No, 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 no. Why did you say it with so much sarcasm? You're right, Harry, I'm sorry. Wait a minute, you think the idea of us going out is ridiculous? It's hilarious and I'm out of her league? <laughs> a little. <laughs> Harry, something needs to drop. <laughs> yeah, Justin Bieber's balls. Now, I could give the list if I wanted to. Yeah, okay, Harry. Whatever, you guys go make a porno and... Guys, I'm standing right here. That's nice. Oh, there now, you are. I could get with her if I wanted to, and you know it. Yes, this is um, Alex Bell. I'm calling to renew my prescription. Right. That's uh, Welbutrin. It's an antidepressant. Yeah, I, I seem to be uh, all out of them. I don't know, maybe I must have lost a couple along the way. I, I don't know, but... What do you mean, one month? I know, well, it's, if I lost a couple, I can't really help that. No, I am not over-medicating. You see, I need these to function, to do my job, and if you don't give me these... No, I'm not going to wait to the end of the month. What am, I, what am I supposed to do if I don't... No, no, but I need them now. Well, fine, put the manager on. Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I got another line. Hold, hold on. Hold on. You just what? Yeah, Bell. Yeah, I just found a case for you. Okay. All right. Great. Uh, what's the case? No, no, no. If you want, we will get it on right now. We will do it right here. Harry. Ah, uh, Lefty. Move, Lefty. Thank the Lord, Bell's here. Okay. First of all, don't thank imaginary people. Just throwing that out there. Second of all, I hope you guys are ready because we have a case. What's the case? 
I am working on it as you speak, so stop speaking. Hey, look, I called you last night. I thought you needed a ride here because your car is still in the shop. Well, uh, well, obviously she ignored your call for some reason that we're going to find out later and laugh at. But anyway, something more important than high school drama. The next case. Bruce Farley. Anyone know him? Show of hands. Uh, didn't we arrest him last year? He raped and murdered a seven-year-old girl. Oh, that son of a bitch. He got away because the cop forgot to secure a warrant. Oh, I remember that case now. Yeah, too bad he got away. Well, maybe not, because fate finally caught up with him. He's our victim. Really? He's dead? No, he's just lying in a pool of blood, but he's still kicking. So this is shaping up to be a good week. First, Hector Santos, the biggest drug dealer in the city, gets gunned down at his house. And then, Bruce Farley, the guy who raped the seven-year-old girl... Wait, what happened to him? Oh, he was... gunned down in his house just the same way Hector Santos was. Wait... You don't think it's a coincidence that two of the most hated people in the state were gunned down both in the same week? What are you saying? We have some kind of vigilante on our hands? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, I, I'm sure they're completely unrelated. Let's just stick with the Bruce Farley case, and we'll get to the Hector Santos case. They'll leave that to the FBI. Leave that to them. Fine, we'll leave it to the FBI. But once we solve this case, we go back to the Hector Santos case, alright? Well, fine. Let's just go to Bruce Farley's house. Fine, we'll do that. And we're not giving this case to the female body inspectors. I feel like I've been driving for hours, my god. Harry, just left the station. It's two blocks away. Yeah, well, I just don't like cars. <clears throat> well, won't Tony think it's suspicious that you're driving me to the crime scene? Well, it's not like you have a car or anything. You just run around with that broom everywhere. So. That broom is a Nimbus 2000 model, and it gets me to where I need to go. So, yeah. Come on, Alyssa. Face it. I mean, we're lost. We've passed that tree four times. Come on. Listen, I got this. Alright. 280 Pacific Avenue. Ooh, Miss Fancy with your GPS. Hello. Yeah, yeah I got a GPS. I got OnStar, electronic radio. Everything. Huh. Pretty fancy. How many box tops did you have to uh, save up for this? <laughs> funny, funny. Yeah. Holy science, it's hotter than Africa out here. Welcome to Wildwood, Harry. I know, but I'm just very fair skinned and I burn easily. Well, here he is Bruce Farley in the flesh. The rapist and murderer of a seven year old girl? Obviously, it took two in the back. It looks like he was prepping for a day in the uh, hot tub when. On a day like this, but it's hot as hell out here! Well, Harry, people do crazy things, and then they win Nobel Peace Prizes. Anyway, there's no signs of force entry in the house, no evidence of an intruder, so I'm thinking the killer entered and exited from the fence over there. So make sure you check back there during your travels. Who won't? Um, where's Tony? He's talking to the first responding officer. Why? Uh, no reason. No reason, okay. Well, I'm gonna go join him, so good luck out here, you guys. I'm gonna go get some air conditioning. What is all the footprints? Well, when you just got the call, the paramedics just came in and rushed and ran through all the blood. I'm gonna have to ruin a crime scene. Boots?